Avoid these brand positioning mistakes to keep more of your money and your sanity. There are so many different mistakes people can make in branding and positioning your digital agency that actually stop your ideal clients from wanting to work with you. And in this video, we are going to shine a light on those mistakes, dispel some myths and show you what you need to do instead. Hey, I am Jan Koch. I run jankoch.co. I help freelancers and digital agencies earn more money online. And in this video, I want to show you what mistakes you might be making that keep your ideal clients away and that are hurting your business despite your best efforts on trying to grow your brand, to refine your positioning, what you're doing might be counterproductive. So let's dive right into these mistakes. Mistake number one, you don't have a clear niche or you didn't niche down enough. And that comes down to a branding myth where you can define a niche too narrowly. And I would argue that that is very, very rarely the case. For 99% of digital agencies, you cannot go too niche with your branding. So don't be afraid to niche down until it hurts to get your messaging clear and to then attract the right clients. You can always expand. After you've saturated your first niche, you can always go into similar verticals, but niche down first, penetrate that market, and then expand into other verticals. Another myth that you might hear all the time is that branding and advertising are essentially the same thing, which couldn't be further from the truth. Branding is what people say about you when you are not in the room. Advertising is just a way to get your message heard and to add noise to the market in the worst case scenario. Those are two completely different things. Also, please, please, please stop trying to be everywhere on social. Unless you have a marketing team that can play to all channels at the same time consistently, focus on the one or two most important channels where you get the most engagement with your ideal client, master those channels and neglect everything else. You don't need to be everywhere. You just need to be in front of your audience consistently. Sacrifice the width and go deep on social media. Also, some other common myth I hear all the time is that you need a logo, you need a website to get clients. And those two things, even though you might be running a digital agency, couldn't be further from the truth. I've sold five figures in deals myself without ever showing a website, without ever having clients look at my website, all from conversations. So. You don't need a website, don't obsess too much about your logo, have conversations and show the other person that you understand their problem and that you can fix it for them. Then they won't ask you for a website. So what do you do instead? How do you avoid those brand positioning mistakes and how do you actually grow your business? Number one, have conversations. I'm a big believer in human to human business, not B2B, not B2C, not B2C to be human to human. We like to do business with people that resonate with us. Have conversations with your ideal client, learn about how they phrase their problems, how they word their desires and embody those words and terminology and make sure that they know that you know what problem they have and that you can fix it for them. Don't be afraid to ask for feedback after you've completed a project. I see too many agencies who do not have a process for collecting testimonials and social proof is still one of the best ways to build authority online. Get that feedback. Also, don't be afraid of cold outreach. Ooh. I said it. I'm not saying go to LinkedIn and bombard 100 people a day with a pitch that isn't relevant to them, but do your research. Maybe LinkedIn Sales Navigator is a good tool. Maybe Seamless.ai is a good tool for that. Choose a tool that gives you credible data. Do your research, create a list of potential prospects and leads and things like that, and then speak with people. Do cold outreach, try to get conversations and see if your offer is actually relevant for them. That helps you refine your offer, it helps you refine your messaging and it gets you clients. Do not trust on commitments from leads that don't invest, that don't put down a deposit, for example. Never believe that, oh, I'm going to buy this when it comes out. No, collect an upfront payment, collect a deposit, everything else is no validation for your offer. Point number two, focus on speed to market. Execution trumps everything in my opinion. Rather launch with a minimal version of your service or product and then expand later on and add features and refine based on customer feedback 
then creating this amazing service with all the bells and whistles to it that nobody wanted in the first place. Always, always, always get market feedback for your product or service. Step number three, focus on where your ideal client is. I already said this earlier, don't spread yourself thin by trying to be everywhere. Focus on those platforms, those forums and networks where your ideal client hangs out, be present there. And then step four, execute high ROI generating activities. Meaning, do cold outreach, have those conversations, nurture warm leads, ask for feedback, track how much progress you're making, track how many calls you have on a day, how many new email subscribers you might be getting from your website, how many new leads you collect from the contact forms on your website. Track that data and see what brings you the most ROI. You can track how many calls you have and then you track the amount of deals closed every single day and that way you can calculate how much revenue you make per sales call on average. You can do the same for email list subscribers. You can do the same for call messages how much you earn per message is a very important motivator at least for me personally to be able to do the cold outreach i don't enjoy it in the first place i do enjoy when the conversations go through and when i meet fun people but i don't like doing all the research doing all the prep work but when i know that i earn on average 50 dollars or 100 dollars or 200 dollars per cold message sent i know that it's worth it and i know that i'm building momentum if you love this content if you want to have more of it subscribe to the cloudways channel my fellow cloudways mavericks and i create more content like this every single week for you to grow your agency. Also, don't forget to download the agency toolkit link below the video. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you got value from these tips. Leave a comment if you didn't so that we know how to improve for the next video. I'll catch you all soon. Thank you so much for watching.